Yeah, Mallory, stay home. That's the message that President Stanley sent out to MSU students last night. Here on Columbia Street, it's a different story. I want to show you some of the damage that's going on over here. We're at Crunch Fitness in East Lansing, where they're open today, despite what happened last night. I'm here with the GM. who was stabbed outside of Quality Dairy. It appears to be a death that was caused over a argument about a mask. Yeah, Mallory, we've been hearing for months now how important the state of Michigan is for the presidential election. And this morning, it's becoming even more clear that that is true. I want to give you a quick peek of what we're seeing. Mallory, 22 different people have tested positive for the virus after attending Harper's Bar here just minutes away from the Michigan State campus. And people clearly excited that the president and Air Force One are touching down here in the Lansing area later this morning. And there are some concerns from people on the other side as well that this could become a super spreader event. Yeah, Mallory, you know, I wish I could vote in Wheatfield Township and not because of anyone that's on the ballot, but rather because of someone who will be at the polls today. Hear ye, hear ye, the polls are now open. 96-year-old Violet Lentz is getting in some practice. Hear ye, hear ye, the polls are now open. <laughs> she probably doesn't need the practice. She's been opening the polls the same way here for more than 70 years. That's a rural area, and all the people are so friendly, and they just get to know everybody. A little more than seven miles from both Mason and Holt is the appropriately named Wheatfield Township. Population, about 1,600. <laughs> what percentage of the people that come in here do you think know who you are? Probably 100%. <laughs> people do come in to see her on election day. She does more than just supervise the election and holler. She's a farmer and a bowler. I used to hold an average of 168. Violet is a legend in this town. It probably doesn't hurt that she gives out candy at the polls too. I think some of them come just for the candy. <laughs> for many people in this area, Election Day is a social event as much as a civic event. When people come to vote, seeing Violet is as much a part of them exercising their duty to vote and their right to vote as it is anything else. In just a little bit, she'll let out that famous call that brings people here to vote. I watch and just make sure that it's right at 7 o'clock, and then I push the doors open and I holler, Hear ye, hear ye, the polls are now open. Violet says one of her favorite parts of Election Day is the potluck that she has with the clerk. She likes to make a hot dish in her crock pot. Live at the polls this morning, I'm Spencer Soysher for News 10. He's, he's been busy. You see here? Uh, so something's been in here that shouldn't. And I think, think it is. chipmunks. Chipmunks, they're driving me crazy. America's angry mayor is irate. Right now, it's at the chipmunks in his garden, but could former Lansing mayor Virg Bonero leave his tomatoes in kale to be the angry mayor of Lansing again? I won't be able to do 180. I'll have to only do 120 because I'm not giving up my garden. When Bernero didn't seek a fourth mayoral term three years ago, that was it. He didn't plan on coming back. I would say it's still 50-50. I mean, maybe it's 55-45 toward, uh, toward running. Um, I did not think I would be in this position um, when I stepped back. Bernero took some time off with family. He said goodbye to his dad just a few weeks ago. But people have been calling him. He says they want him back at City Hall. He hasn't always agreed with what fellow Democratic Mayor Andy Shore has done, including during the violent protests on May 31st. I wanted to go down there, uh, and my wife said, you're not, you know, you're not going down there. <laughs> she said, you're not the mayor. Would I have used tear gas, for example? You know, I don't know. I wasn't there. But, but I'll tell you one thing, I would have been down there, okay? I would have been on the scene, and not from a window, not from a distance, but from the ninth floor office. He's also frustrated with the way many of his former staffers of color, like City Services Director Joan Jackson Johnson, have been treated by the mayor's office. What happened to Martel Armstrong, the Housing Commission Director, was obscene. What happened to Telefero, outrageous. Joan, the worst of all. Just unbelievable. So what would it take for the angry mayor to come back? Believe it or not, Spencer, it's not a political calculation. It's a gut check. It's a personal feeling. It's a family uh, decision. And just a decision about my, am I needed? Bernero told me that he plans to decide what he's going to do by the end of 2020. In the meantime, he'll continue to work as the executive director of a manufacturing council.